Dylan Lynn boarding Vander Hump rules. And finally, keeping up with a Camel Kardashian and Brandon Kiwat in his first year at Canterbury Park. Alrighty, they're gonna run down to the finish line. The starter is making sure everybody is secure and safe. Canterbury, make some noise for the Camelberry Derby. And there go. Miss Cooley Amino and Becca Mel Bachelorette out nicely. But look at Brandon Kiwat and keeping up with a Camel Kardashian. Surging and getting over the hump. Keeping up with a Camel Kardashian is the Camelberry Champion. And we already have one down. Doug Frank, Doug Frank is out of it. And also dropping out of it is Pecan, Jake Samuels, and Rob Grant Ostrichki. They're all down. It's a one bird race. And what a bad bird it is. Rob Gronk Ostrichki. For the first time in the history of the ostrich race, we only had one finisher. And that finisher was Rob Gronk Ostrichki. Okay, take a look at the replay. Jake Samuels on the one, holding on like a champion. Down goes one, down goes two, down goes three, and finally they're all down except Jake. Pay the side bets to the one. Go. What a great beginning for Zebra Gomez. Uh-oh, look out in the grandstand. Cardi Z's coming at you. Likewise for Zebra Gomez. And down goes Lynn. Down goes Lynn. And Baby Q and Hazy Baldwin encouraging the Zebra to go all of one mile per hour. All he wants to do is a zoom, zoom, zoom. All he wants to do is a zoom, zoom, zoom. Justin Zebra is looking for food in the winner's circle. Nakia Ramirez has straightened out Justin Zebra. And it's Justin Zebra and Hazy Baldwin. Baldwin, Zebra, uh-oh, Swantech's back on. It's the longest zebra race in the history of the breed. Holy cow, Ramirez and Dylan Lynn's back on. Oh my heavens, and now, yeah! All they wanna do is a zoom, zoom, zoom. That's a near dead heat. 
Baby Q and Nakia Ramirez, Justin Zieber and Hazy Baldwin hit it together. Who do you like? That took so long it became an anti-social Saturday. Okay, we gotta look at the replay for side wagering purposes. There's Justin Zieber trying to eat Dean Butler's head. Wanted none of it. Miss Ramirez all over Zieber with the right-handed stick. Baby Q can't get Hazy Baldwin to go. And then, Swin then Swantek gets involved with Cardi Z. And here comes the Zebra Gomez and they all take off. One, four, four, one. Inside, Justin Zebra wins. <laughs> Miss Ramirez riding those stripes for everything he had. Photo opportunities. Zebra is coming into the winner's circle. And there they go. And all 16 gates popped as one. Brilliantly, brilliantly handled by Canterbury Park. On the main track, popping out of the gate nicely is a Promising Shoes and Express River. And with one lap to go in the turf course, pot liquor shows speed. Artie's rumor is prominent. B.A.? Everyone broke alertly significant. The field's long shot broke in last at 81 to 1. That one is helplessly out of the pack. But as you can tell, they're going a reasonable pace. Buxton at 5 to 1 was hung out 5 wide, currently getting a great trip. Eclat and also Express River 65 to 1 has the nose in front. Duly affirmed. Ariel Gordon won this race last year. She looks for another win in here. And Houdini Hill, Patrick Fields, Houdini Hill right where they want to be near the lead, Paul. Artie's rumor leads on the turf course from Pot Liquor, far clear from playoff bound. That one's 10 out of it on the turf, as the turf still has a lot of work to do to catch up to the main track. BA, what do you got? The main track dominating at this point. It looks like if you're on the main track, you could be cashing a win ticket, but at this point, the race is still wide open. The long shot Express River held together beautifully. Buxton has been six wide throughout, but Buxton takes the lead coming from home. Three across the track, now four across the track. The turf catching up quickly. It is Buxton battling it out with Promising Shoes, and Promising Shoes refuses to do the moonwalk. It's a dirt domination, 11-16-13 in the Battle of the Surfaces.